What's up, everybody? It's Sean Roy here from the Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the six different ways you can make money teaching voice. So, why do I specifically want to talk to you about teaching voice and not music in general? Well, it's because I believe teaching voice requires a specific skill set that you don't often use when teaching traditional musical instruments. I get asked a lot of questions when I meet people who are not sure if they're qualified to teach voice. And my answer is, if you have taken some sort of lessons in the past and you're willing to research and learn more about how the voice works, then yes, you can teach voice. When working on my master's degree in entertainment, business, and law, I discovered that 11% of children between the ages of nine and 17 within the United States, Canada, and England want to be pop stars. This means there are close to 20 million potential clients that are just children. So if you're new to teaching voice and just want to teach young beginner students, there are more than enough young students out there for you to teach full time. Not to mention, as you get better and more knowledgeable, you can expand your services to more advanced and older students. That's how I started. Teaching preschool at my mom's daycare, then on to elementary, middle school, and then high school. And when many of my younger students started to become famous and winning contests, I gained the courage to start teaching adults. And during that time, I myself took voice lessons from teachers that I enjoyed, which helped me learn to teach my own students better. Then eventually, I went back to school, took music classes, and got my K through 12 music certification. So if you wanna teach voice, then you can and you should. And if you're new to teaching voice, no worries. I was once touring the country with 14 students from a private school. The math teacher had to leave for an emergency, so I was recruited to teach calculus. It had been at least 15 years since I'd taken calculus, and even then, I wasn't particularly good at it. But to get me through, the principal gave me a great piece of advice that I carry with me until this day. You only need to be one lesson ahead. So, getting back to the six simple ways you can make money teaching voice. Some steps may seem obvious and others won't. I personally have tried all six ways, so I know from experience how to best utilize them. And during the next part of this webinar, I will share with you what they all are, as well as the pros and cons of each of them. So, let's get started. The first way you can make money teaching voice is by teaching music for an institution. This is the most common way voice teachers make money. The teacher is essentially an employee and usually gets an hourly wage. Here are the pros. After you get started, you usually start working right away. They assign you students so you don't have to worry about social media and online marketing. You don't have to worry about the boring business stuff such as accounting, marketing, student attendance, and stuff like that. At many schools, you still get paid even if the student doesn't show. Now, here are some of the cons. You may have to teach a certain way or use a certain method. Teachers at music schools get paid less per hour than teaching in other modalities. Your hours are not flexible, if flexible at all. To summarize, teaching for someone else is the easiest way to get started teaching. There are fewer headaches when it comes to bookkeeping and finding students. It is the least paying out of the six ways to teach voice. Plus, because you're working for a company, not for yourself, you must abide by their rules and regulations. The second method for teaching voice is the in-home model. It may not be the most popular model today, but pre-2000s, it was quite popular. People who are of a higher income absolutely love in-home lessons because of the convenience. They don't have to travel, fight traffic, or take extra time out of their busy schedules to have a lesson. Here are the pros of in-home lessons. You can charge more for the student's convenience. You'll be able to cater to wealthier clients as their time is more valuable than money. Students are way more comfortable in their own space, so tend to work better and harder. There are fewer cancellations due to convenience. Now, here are some of the cons. 
depending on where you live, you may have to travel further to reach the wealthier clients. You will spend copious amount of times going from place to place. And because most lessons happen in the afternoon and evening, especially if you're working with children, rushed, rush hour traffic may be an issue. You will be putting more miles in your car, so you will need to add the cost of maintenance and fuel to your expenses. So all in all, in-home lessons take up a lot of time and energy, but ultimately, it's the paradigm that will allow you to charge the most. Especially if your goal is to quickly make six figures teaching music, then this is the way to go. The third way you can teach voice is in studio, meaning you can teach in a place you choose to rent or in your home. This is the second most common approach after taking lessons from a music company. I personally feel someone coming to your own studio adds a bit of clout to your image or brand. Here are the pros of in-studio lessons. Being perceived as good enough to have your own setup means you can charge more. Since you will not have to travel so much, if at all, it's very convenient. Having the ability to set your own hours and not needing to travel means you have the option to see a much higher volume of students. By setting up your space as you want it, you may have access to more teaching materials and instruments. If you own your own studio, it's easier for others to come teach for you if you have the extra space. Adding extra benefits like master classes, recitals, and group lessons are much easier when you have your own studio. Now, here are the cons. If you have the desire to rent out a studio rather than do it in your home, there will be some extra expenses like rent, utilities, insurance, receptionist. For example, if your monthly overhead is $1,000 and you charge $50 per hour, then you must teach 20 lessons before you begin to make a profit. If people must travel to you, they might not become long-term because of the inconvenience. Unless you have some celebrity or notoriety, it's difficult to charge as much as teaching in students' homes. So overall, the in-studio model is very convenient and requires less travel time than teaching in-home. However, it's much more of an investment and a hassle or teaching for another company. But you will make more money than teaching for someone else. Then again, not as much as teaching in home. The fourth way you can make money teaching voice is online by using services like FaceTime, Skype, or Zoom. This is my method of choice and is a common way most celebrities take lessons, especially when they're on tour. Back before the internet was fast enough for video conferencing, it was by phone. I remember one time I was at this video shoot with Destiny's Child, and during their makeup, Beyonce slides out to the bathroom for about 20 minutes, and then Michelle, and then Kelly. I found out later they were taking a voice lesson over the phone with their vocal coach in Houston. So teaching voice over a virtual device is quite common and an excellent way to teach. Here are some of the pros. It's the most convenient. Over the last few years, I've had severe respiratory issues that have landed me in the hospital for weeks at a time. I've been known to teach right from my hospital bed. I also love to travel, so as long as I have my iPad or a laptop, I don't have to stop working and can enjoy myself all over the world. Not only can you teach from all over the world, but you can also reach people from all over the world. Imagine teaching students in countries and continents you've never even been to. It's extremely convenient. Wash my face, comb my hair, what I have of it, and put a clean shirt on. That's pretty much my prep for teaching online. Due to its extreme convenience, I can see a higher volume of students. In fact, since I'm an early bird, I like to find students in other time zones to better utilize my 5 to 9 a.m. morning hours. Most video hosting platforms allow you or the student to record your lessons and review for later. Added bonus for both parties. Now, here are some of the cons. It is sometimes difficult to charge as much as the other models. You sometimes might deal with less than stellar internet connections, which can make communication quite difficult. Sometimes it's more difficult to keep your younger students focused when you're not in the same room as them. So even though teaching online is the most convenient way to teach, you may not be able to charge as much as in studio or in-home models. 
but you will most likely make more than teaching for someone else. With the right lesson plan, I've been able to make online lessons the preferred way of taking, of taking voice. For me, for individuals living close by, and most definitely for those interested in working with me worldwide. The fifth way you can teach voice is by having group lessons. You can have group lessons in your studio, in your home, and even online. Many music schools even have group lessons. I love teaching group classes, and I tend to feed off the energy and interest of all the students in the class. Also, I'm a firm believer that students can learn just as much, sometimes even more, by observing me working with someone else. Some of the pros and cons of teaching classes in a group are, you can learn from others. How many times have you been in a class where you did not quite understand the concept, then someone asks, the same, someone asks a question in a different way and your question gets answered? You can charge less, and this is great, especially if you have clients who can't afford your one-on-one -on -one, your one-on-one -on -one classes. I generally charge one fourth of my hourly rate for group sessions. Let's say you charge eighty dollars for a one-on-one -on -one session. For a group session, you would charge eighty dollars for the month per person. By using this pricing plan, after your fourth student has enrolled. Everyone after that will be even more than your hourly rate. Now, some of the cons. People can be at different levels, and it can sometimes be difficult to make sure everyone is getting what they need. It can take more energy to manage a larger group of clients. Not for me though, I really do love the energy. You must have a larger list of clients in order to fill an entire class. You can't customize a class for individual students, so your lessons must be more generalized. The last, the sixth way you can teach voice is by doing what I do, which is a combination of it all. Working in this way allows me to accommodate the greatest amount of clients, and it also allows me to be efficient with my time. I teach group master classes for lesson companies and universities. I teach in-studio classes for a select number of students in my own studio. I work with celebrities in their homes, on set, and in the recording studio. I teach most of my clients online with Zoom chat. And I teach group classes in my studio and online. So, there you go. Six ways of teaching voice. I have used each of these platforms and understand the ins and outs of having them work in the most efficient and lucrative way. And in my course, The Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy, I will be teaching these ways through my proven step-by-step -step process, thus getting you started and able to grow your very own vocal coaching business. As a recap, this course will be broken up into four sections with multiple mini modules per sections, which I will be showing you exactly how to build your own vocal coaching business with everything we've discussed in this webinar. And when I say step-by-step, step, I mean step-by-step. Step. You will literally watch my computer screen as I go through things like building a website, starting an ad campaign on Facebook and Instagram, and even creating worksheets for your students. The Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy is the course I wish I had when I started teaching voice. It has all the answers, shortcuts, and caveats you will need to be successful. And when it's all said and done, it's easy to understand and entertaining. And now because you watched this webinar all the way through to the very end, I would like to make you a special offer. Instead of paying the price of $19.97, I am offering it to you for $697 if you purchase it today. And if you decide to pay in full, you will have a chance to join my three special workshops led by music industry professionals. In those workshops, they will speak to you about how to find opportunities for you and your students, like auditioning for shows like American Idol and The Voice, and dealing with record labels. I have watched too many of my colleagues struggle financially teaching voice lessons when they didn't need to. They thought I was successful because of the celebrities and social media influencers I work with. But what they didn't understand was that these celebrities and influencers weren't celebrities and influencers when I first started working with them. They were just regular kids, just like the ones that'll walk through your door. 
They also didn't see what I was doing behind the scenes to make it all happen. So, when I shared my secrets with them, which are ingenuity, planning, and work ethic, they discovered that they were just like me. And now their businesses are skyrocketing too. The Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't love the information you receive in this course, just email me and you'll receive a full refund. Before I leave you to the rest of your busy schedule, I want to make sure you understand that you will have to put in the work. One of my favorite quotes of all time is by American businessman and producer Ted Turner, who once said, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and then advertise. This motto has helped him get his business to over a $2 billion net worth. So in the Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy, I'm going to be giving you the tools to create your own vocal coaching empire by teaching you how to build your business the right way, as well as how to reach your target market through advertising. In no time at all, you will learn how to make it big without making the mistakes that myself and thousands of other music coaches have made. It doesn't get much better than that. So that's it for this free training. I hope you got a lot out of it, and I also hope you find success in your endeavors as the vocal coach. If you have any questions about the Unstoppable Vocal Coach Academy, feel free to drop me a line at sean at unstoppablevocalcoach.com. See you inside the Academy.